We saw the, all the beautiful pictures uh, from Iceland, so that initially got us interested. So just uh, the uniqueness of the black sand beaches, the, the glacier lagoon, um, just uh, yeah, totally different uh, geography from, from everything anything that we've seen before. And we thought March would be a good time because we would still have enough daylight to enjoy uh, you know, about 11, 12 hours of, of sunlight, but still have a chance to see the northern lights. And um, yeah, we accomplished both. Yeah, he was really into photography, so it was like his kind of inspiration to go to Iceland when he saw just the beautiful landscape here. And then I really wanted to see the northern lights, so <laughs> um, we thought that it was kind of a good, good balance, good time of year. I mean, it was really the snow made the landscape even more amazing in some areas and, um, and we got to see an amazing Northern Lights show. Uh, although we had a few hiccups with the weather at yeah. first, it got progressively better as the as the trip went on. But yeah, uh, we don't we don't get a lot of driving in blizzard conditions in Southern California, <laughs> so that made it a little exciting, um, especially at the beginning of our trip with some of the wind and the snow. But uh, cleared up later on, and we still had a great time. <laughs> and we were able uh, to call Nordic Visitor also to get uh, to. You know, when we did encounter bad oh, weather, yeah, so. having that cell phone and then they, they would gave check on the really road good. conditions <laughs> for us, which yeah. uh, that that came in handy. We used that a couple of times. Yeah, we so. definitely use that. <laughs>